Hey guys, this is Cody with PSI Power. Today I'm installing one of our Ag Diesel Solutions products on this New Holland C337 skid steer. It's equipped with a 3.4 liter of Echo engine. So as you unbox your unit here, you'll have what's included the module, which has the switch mounted to the case. So it's through position all the way clockwise is high, counterclockwise back one setting is low, and then all the way counterclockwise is stock. Next, you'll have your detailed, pictured, colored instructions to show you where the connections are that we're hooking into, how to install it, where to route the wiring, things like that. And then you'll also have your supplied zip ties to mount the harness and module away from any excessive heat or moving parts in the engine compartment. So to start this install procedure, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lift your, uh, essentially your hood to access your engine compartment. And then you're looking for the fuel rail that is located under the air intake on this right side. And the first thing you're going to need to do to gain access is remove the cover to the air filter housing and then pull out the, uh, the main filter in there so you have more access to your fuel sensor. All right. So now I have removed the air intake filter cap and I've removed the primary air filter to gain better access to the fuel rail down below. And we'll show you where the fuel pressure sensor is located at next. So now that you're standing at the back of the machine and you've removed your air filter housing and filter to gain better access to the common rail, uh, the fuel rail, you're going to follow it to the back side of the engine and you're looking for the fuel pressure sensor that's located on the back that you're going to have to unplug. It's a little three pin connector. What I did to help unhook it was I had a, this long screwdriver here that I went alongside the rail here to get access to the locking tab on the connector and then also the, the actual locking tab on the connector itself to disconnect it from the fuel rail. All right, so as you have managed to work your arm back here between all this, be sure to orientate our female connector that's gonna plug into your fuel sensor the same way that your factory one pulled off and as you push it in, you should hear a click. And then connect your factory wiring harness back to our harness and engage the locking tab. All right, so now that you have both your male and female connections secured and plugged in correctly, what you're gonna wanna do is route the wiring uh, on this side of the engine. It's away from any heat, any moving parts. It's in a safe location and I went ahead and secured the module to these fuel lines here. They're not going anywhere. They're not gonna get hot, anything like that. And I mounted it to where the switch on the wiring harness is coming out of the bottom. So then now you can put your factory filter back in and your air box cap and you have successfully completed installing this module.